I want to check in with Mike Sedell. He is live in yes. Texas, a huge holiday parade going on. So first of all, Mike, when do you switch out the socks? And also, what's it looking like for the parade today? Well, I already switched out my socks earlier this week in Marquette, but not here today in Dallas. 61 this morning. That's their average high temperature. So we're starting off there. We're heading to the mid 70s, a very warm day for the annual Dallas Holiday Parade. And one of the many groups and uh, people that will be in the uh, parade right here, we've got the Red Hot Mamas. Uh, what's the minimum age? You have to be to be in this group. Minimum is 18. 18? 18. Wow. And you go through the parade with a walker? <laughs> I don't. I'm twirling. Are oh, you twirling? <laughs> yes. We All of the Red Hot Mamas are going to be having the walker. And we have a lot of our guest entertainers with us today, too. So we have a twirler, a ballerina, a rag doll, Here's, lots of inflatables. And let's go over to the ballerina right here. Yeah. What's your name? Stacy. So you'll be joining them coming up Commerce Street for the parade. Yes. And yes. will you be uh, dancing? I will be. I will Excellent. Be. Oh, yes. I saw you warming up on your... Show us your uh, toe work. <laughs> I can't do that. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Ladies, thanks for joining us. Reynolds and Kelly, the parade kicks off at 10 a.m. Central, 11 o'clock East Coast time, Kelly. And we're going to be out here to show you the parade as it comes up Commerce Street. Between now and then, we're going to try to uh, meet some of the groups that will be marching or walking or using the walkers in the parade. <laughs> Hey, Mike, we've been seeing on the radar storms to your north, storms to your south, but are you seeing a lot of people kind of lining the streets right now for the parade? Yeah, we've got the early folks out here. There were people out here before the sun came up. We had that one shower that came over us, but we were on the north right. end. We got clipped with just enough rain to kind of wet down the sidewalk, but I think we're going to be okay uh, for the rest of the morning for the parade. By the way, eight years ago, they had the parade first weekend in December, as they do every year. It was in the mid-20s, and they had snow and ice. So the extremes that occur in Dallas in early December. I'll take that mild weather over that blustery day for sure, Mike. Thanks so much. Time to have a little fun, though. It's become a huge holiday tradition. The Dallas Holiday Parade, featuring the balloons, the floats, and the bands, will march through the city later on this morning. That's right. Now, despite a chance of rain and these distinctly non-holiday temperatures, people are trying to get into the spirit, right? And among the crowd will be our own meteorologist, Mike Seidel, who joins us now live. Mike, we are listening to Burl Ives. We know you celebrate his entire collection. <laughs> but what kind of song of joy are they singing there in Dallas with these temperatures? How, how did you know that, Reynolds? I got him as my ringtone. Uh, we're they're good, just getting good. pumped up for this parade because last year it didn't happen. It was a visual parade. This will be 34, year 34. It started in 1987. We just watched the Sweethearts dance group warm up. They've been warming up here in the plaza, the ATT uh, Discovery Area. And so we've got all kinds of groups getting uh, their, you know, their last practice in before they hit the uh, Commerce Street parade route, which goes from left to right here on TV, and they're expecting uh, over 300,000 folks, and since we didn't have it last year, and since the weather couldn't be any better, look at the forecast. We're right now in the low 60s. That's the average low for this day in Dallas, and we're going to be up around 70 by the time the parade ends. Now, it starts at 10 a.m. here in Dallas, 11 a.m. Eastern, runs for about 90 minutes, bands and floats, and balloons. So it's kind of like their Macy's parade. And music, and music. By the way, they've had temperatures in the upper 80s. They've had snow and ice in the mid 20s. Today will definitely be one of the top 10 warmest parade days for the holiday parade in Dallas. Kelly, let me throw it back to you before I get myself in trouble dancing. No, I'd rather watch you dance, Mike. It was fun, you know, festive. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> My fox trot gives the fox the trots. No, no way. Oh, very nice. Very All nice. All right, Mike. Well, we're glad the weather's cooperating, even though a few showers have come close to Dallas this morning. Overall, it looks uh, pretty good for the parade going on there. Uh, you're right. Well, it may not feel much like Christmas in Texas today, or the southeast for that matter, but thousands of people are flocking to downtown Dallas ahead of today's annual holiday parade. Balloons, floats, and bands are going to be marching down Commerce Street. Weather Channel meteorologist Mike Seidel joins us uh, live now. You know, a lot of people having uh, Christmas sweater parties. I myself had one last night. I had to pull out the swimsuit instead, so it's like a Christmas swimsuit party. 
Yeah, you could do that here today. We were 61 this morning, and that's the average high for the day. We're going to be up in the low 70s. And the gentleman who brings the parade to us every year is Jeffrey Giles. He's the EP of the parade. And oh, by the way, behind us, the beautiful Ice Angels from the Allen Americans minor league hockey team north of uh, Dallas and Allen. Okay, back to um, Mr. Good EP. Morning. Good, Good morning. morning. You're excited. I know you've been running around uh, crazy. Tell us a little bit about what's special about this year. Bottom line is you didn't have a parade last year. Bottom line is we didn't have anything last year. And this year our theme is memories. And I think it's memories of hope. You know, everybody's looking for hope right now. Everybody's looking for something new. It's like we want spring, but Christmas is here. And that makes us feel warm inside. And so we're very excited about that. Let me tell, ask you how many bands are in the parade? How many units in the parade? We have 120 units in the parade. There are 15 bands. There are 28 drill teams. 15 giant inflatable balloons, and we have a little over a half million people here today. That's incredible because it just goes up and down Commerce Street. It's, it's huge. How deep will they be? Well, I'm not exactly sure, <laughs> but I'm sure the police will let me know. Uh, what about uh, the situation uh, with the crowd and the uh, parade, and, and what about Santa? Well, I tell you, we have taken a great deal of measures to ensure the safety of the general public. Right. Dallas Police Department with uh, local, state, and federal agencies are working diligently to protect all of our citizens to make sure that we're safe and to make sure that Santa gets here in time. Well, he won't have any snow today, Jeff. He's not having it. Well, but, you know, I look back, and we talked about this last night. In 2013, it was in the mid-20s, and there was snow and ice everywhere. Sure was. I, I was even surprised about that, that it was that cold this early in North Texas. Yeah, it was it was a sad situation that year. But you know what? Like everything, there's hope. Here we are. My dad used to say Christmas will always come. And here we are. So I'm excited. I'm glad we're here with the Weather Channel to celebrate and to bring that parade down the street, no matter how balmy it is. Yeah, okay. Well, Jeffrey, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. And thanks for the hospitality. And ladies, are you all uh, ready to uh, dance? Yes, we are. And what are you dancing to today? Rocking around the Christmas tree. All right. That's a Christmas uh, favorite. Well, good luck. Thank you. And uh, try not to sweat too much. <laughs> okay. Dr. Postel, it is warm. It's muggy here in Dallas. We're going to throw it back to you. I'm sure you're going to find some cold weather somewhere. Ah, Mike, I am. And let's go to the Pacific Northwest. Thank you. It's looking like Christmas in downtown Dallas. We want to get back out to Mike Seidel where it's like 60 degrees, Mike? Yes, low 60s, heading up towards 70, a very warm parade day, but they're uh, practicing right here on Commerce Street. This is the Diamond Line and Dazzlers. These gals will be uh, coming towards us during the parade. Everybody, all the groups, the dance groups have been warming up out here this morning. They're probably breaking a bit of a sweat. Weather looks great today. Uh, temperatures rising through the 60s. We had a few showers this morning, not expecting any more rain uh, this afternoon. Expecting about 400,000 folks out here. They're already in the VIP bleachers. You can actually buy tickets if you wanted to sit down in one of these bleacher seats. Otherwise, it's free. It's free. And we're going to be showing you parts of the parade live starting at 11 a.m. Eastern this morning right here on the Weather Channel. Good morning from Dallas, Texas. I'm meteorologist Mike Seidel, and this is the day, the holiday parade here in Dallas, 400,000 spectators. That's a lot of folks to line up and down Commerce Street. Right now, we've got the Montessera Dance Troupe from New Braunfels, Texas, and they're getting ready to practice. What they're doing is they're bringing all the dance troops out here, uh, and they practice. They go through their songs. This is basically like at Macy's. You get in front of Macy's, you get in front of the Adolphus Hotel. This all started back in 1987 when the Adolphus uh, was trying to figure out how to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the Children's Hospital locally. And so they came up with the idea of the parade. So this is the 34th parade, annual parade. Well, 35 if you count last year, that was uh, one that they did virtually. But virtual parades, no. This is the way you want to do it, especially when it's this warm. Temperatures right now in the low 60s heading up to about 70. So one of the warmest parades they've had. Eight years ago, it was in the mid-20s with snow and ice. One year was in the uh, up, upper 80s. So we're comfortable right now. And uh, don't forget that when you're out here, you may, may forget in December, you still have to hydrate. So have plenty of water, especially if you're out on the street for about five or six hours. 
We're going to be here live uh, through 1 o'clock Eastern, and we're going to show you the parade on and off live on the Weather Channel starting at 11 Eastern, 10 Central. That's when the parade kicks off and runs right up Commerce Street here in Dallas. Just a great day for a parade. You know, they, they, look, they have some empty spots there, Mike. I'm waiting for you to kind of join that dance line. Yeah. Behind you. What do you say? <laughs> I went to the Arthur Clutt School of Dance, so I won't be joining that. Oh, no. No way. <laughs> That's right. Stay in your lane, Mike. Good choice. Good choice. All right. We'll check back with you throughout the morning. All right. Well, it's National Sock Day. Well, may not feel much like December or Christmas for that matter in Texas today, but thousands of people, they're still flocking to downtown Dallas ahead of today's annual holiday parade. There'll be balloons, floats, and bands marching up and down Commerce Street. Weather Channel meteorologist Mike Seidel joins us now. I grew up in Florida, Mike, so warm weather, it still resonates with, uh, with Christmas for me. And anytime it's a warm day like we've had in Dallas or Atlanta, Jack Johnson holiday playlist, it'll get you in the Christmas spirit for sure. <laughs> I'll have to remember that. Yes, another mild day here in the, the Big D. This is really the biggest parade uh, of the season anywhere in uh, North Texas. This is the annual uh, Dallas Holiday Parade. It's been going on since 1987, and we we're fortunate enough today to have thousands of folks here. They're expecting over 400,000. Some of them are right here in front of us. The Tampkin family. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, good. It's great to be out here. It's warm. It's not wet. It's not cold. And I was talking to you earlier, your wife said it was your first time at the parade. It is, yeah. It's our very first time at the parade here. How long have you lived in Dallas? I've been in Dallas for about 30 years. So you finally grabbed the crew. Finally grabbed the crew. You got four yeah. out of your five kids. That's correct. And uh, are you guys all excited about the parade? Yes. Yes. Yeah. You got great seats. We do. Yeah, great seats. And what, what are you looking forward to the most? The bands, the dancers, the floats, the balloons? Probably pretty much everything. We want to see Santa Claus, too. That'll be fun. Santa? Yeah. Santa? Yeah. Is Santa showing up at your house this year? Yeah. Yeah, okay. We got some, <laughs> you got some good kids here. And what's your daughter's name? This is Isla. Hi, hello, Isla. How are you? <laughs> yeah. She doesn't really talk, so at least not much. Typical reaction <laughs> when I ask someone, how are you? Uh, well, enjoy the parade. Hey, thank you, you so got much. front row seats, and let me get your wife on camera. Hello there. Hello. Are you excited too? Yes, very excited. Yes. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, and you've been lucky enough to watch him practice and hear some of the great Christmas music. Yes, it's been great. Okay, so. well, enjoy the uh, parade. And we're going to be here through uh, 1 o'clock Eastern. The parade starts down there about five blocks. Also, you want to swing around. This is the whole parade route. It's all on Commerce Street. So you can imagine how many deep the crowd is going to be, Paul. And it will start in about 55 minutes and then head right up this way. It lasts for about 90 minutes. So it's a, a healthy, long parade on a great Saturday in December here in downtown Dallas. Yeah, got to enjoy this mild weather we can because yeah, Dallas uh, Notorious for being a lot colder this time of the year. Thanks, Mike. We'll check back with you. Good morning. Welcome back to downtown Dallas. It's the biggest parade in, uh, in Texas and one of the biggest parades in the United States. It's the holiday parade. It's now getting underway, starting to come up Commerce Street. And we have thousands. We're expecting 400,000 to be on the parade route. We've got some clowns going by, and we've got... Uh, Molly and Chloe Nozzle from Fort Worth, Texas. Hi. Thanks for joining us. You're excited about the parade? Yes, we sir. are. And look at Lulu. <laughs> what kind of dog is Lulu? You said a schnauzer and Yorkie. Yes, so it's a snorky. A snorky. And how old is Lulu? She's eight. First time for Lulu at the parade? Yes, sir. But you've been at the parade before. Yes, sir. And what is your favorite part about the parade? The balloons, the floats, the dancers, just the energy? Yep, I love it all, but especially when Santa comes out, that's my favorite. Now, is Santa going to be visiting your house this year? I think so. Yeah. Yep. What about you, Chloe? I don't know. I've, <laughs> I, I know for a fact it's, it's a little shaky. Uh, I think so. <laughs> okay, so you've been at the parade before. Now, the weather is great today. It Have is. you been at any of the parades here? In 2013, it was 25 and there was snow and ice. Were you at that parade? I think so. I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty cold. Uh -huh. Well, ladies, you're here with your mom. You're here with Lulu. Yes, sir. Hello, Lulu. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Oh, that's that's a pretty laid-back dog. <laughs> she is. Speaking of laid-back, let's go back to the studio. Paul Goodlow and Mark. Good morning from uh, Texas. What do you think? 
We're ready to go. Freight's coming up the street. We'll bring it to you live here in the next couple of hours. All right. We do love a good holiday parade. Thanks, yeah. Mikey. We'll check back with you coming up. All right. Well, speaking of the South, it may not feel much like Christmas here in Texas today, but thousands of people are in downtown Dallas for today's annual holiday parade. Weather Channel meteorologist Mike Seidel being one of the spectators. And I hear, Mike, the parade just starting. It has started. In fact, we've got our first uh, group of gals coming through, and we've got our first float from the Nutcracker Suite. Little known fact, I was in the Nutcracker Suite back in first back in 1963, and you know what I played? I played a tree. Yes, I just stood there as a tree. Anyway, they're coming up Commerce Green here in Dallas, expecting 400,000. What a beautiful, beautiful morning here, nice and warm in the mid 60s, no rain. And behind them, we have the first marching band from the Samuel High School marching band. And they're right behind in the uh, black uniforms. I don't know if we're gonna have time to hear any of their music, but just a festive day out here enjoying uh, the parade. Now last year was virtual, so this is a real deal. 34th year, and everybody's in the spirit of the holiday spirit here. Let's listen to a little of the Samuel High School Marching Band. section fall reminds me of the Tower of Power. Oh my gosh. Great music. We've got dancers. We've got more floats. In fact, as we throw it back to you, Paul, we'll show you the gingerbread men coming up in commerce here in Dallas. All right. Love a good parade, and we found out that Mike was in the Nutcracker as a tree. We're trying to find some archival footage, but they didn't invent film back when he was uh, actually there. Also looking like Christmas in downtown Dallas. We'll also take you to Dallas. That's where we find meteorologist Mike Seidel. Mike, how is it down there this morning? Warm. It is just a beautiful morning in the mid 60s, higher than it should be overnight. It's been uh, warm, it seems like, through the entire fall. But look what's coming up the street. We've got a giant snowflake for you. We haven't had a lot of snow this season. In fact, uh, the national snow cover has been as low as you've seen it in the past uh, 18, 19 years since we started uh, measuring it. Right now we have the AT&T Memories of Let em Snow. We're hearing a marching band, the Texas marching band going up Commerce, the parade coming up Commerce. About a 90 minute parade. We're just uh, into the first 20, 25 minutes of it. And behind the snowflake, we've got another marching band. So just a real festive uh, day out here and a perfect day for the parade. Dry and warm. Look at these kids over here. They are just, uh, all eyes and ears. We just had the galactic group come by. We had Darth Vader and uh, characters from Star Wars. Look at these guys with the balloons. Oh no, those are snowflakes. Inflated. Inflated snowflakes. And behind us we've got the dancers with the snowflakes and the Merry Christmas float. So it's uh, one of those one of those days you don't want to miss here in North Texas after last year's virtual parade. And we're going to be here right on through the entire parade bringing you some highlights. So stay with us here on the Weather Channel from Dallas, Texas. Happy holidays. Good morning from Dallas and happy holidays. Meteorologist Mike Seidel. Those are the chefs at the Adolphus Hotel in conjunction with Children's Hospital in Dallas. It's the annual Dallas Holiday Parade. They're enjoying it. And now we have the Skyline High School Marching Band coming up Commerce. They're from Dallas, Texas. Let's listen just a bit.
Thanks, Mike. Uh, we'll get back in with you here shortly. Well, it may not feel much like Christmas in Texas today, but thousands of people are in downtown Dallas for today's annual holiday parade. And Weather Channel meteorologist Mike Seidel, he's standing by. And you don't always have to have the cold weather, Mike, to make it feel like Christmas. I'm sure it feels like it out there with all the festivities. Oh, you better believe it, guys. Despite the fact that it's in the mid-60s, Everybody's out here. Holiday uh, fever is on. We're in downtown Dallas, the annual holiday parade. And we just saw the candy cane girls go by. And they're going up the street. There's the float with the candy canes. And then we look down the street and we've got a giant inflatable candy cane here on Commerce Street. And it looks like they're throwing out some candy. Expecting 400,000 on the streets today. We're now into the second hour of the uh, biggest parade, one of the biggest parades in the entire U.S. of A. On just a delightful, mild uh, late morning here in Dallas. We've got candy canes and uh, we've got Santa at the end of the parade. That's coming up soon. We've had five or six marching bands. We've had lots of dancers. Uh, we've had horses. Uh, uh, the sheriff's department from Hunt County, Texas came by. Now we've got the old cars. Look at that Plymouth right there. What year is that? Some, somewhere back in the 40s. I wasn't around, but looks like something back in the 40s. And then uh, we've got more of a Model T back in the back there, along with a giant candy cane. So Paul and Mark, it's just one of those days. Love the horn. I got to get one of those. Paul, you need to get one of those horns. Love the horn here. Just uh, just a great day down here. Waiting for some more. We've got some more uh, dancers, and we've also got some more bands coming up Commerce Street here uh, this morning and early this afternoon. It's amazing, Mike, looking at your shot, seeing the people uh, around there in shorts in the first week of December. So uh, this is definitely bonus weather there in uh, Dallas because we know 20s, something we've had before this time of the year. Thanks, Mike. We'll check yes. back with you coming up right. in a, a few minutes. But uh, yeah, so we are done with this part. Yeah. But let's go to another part of the country which has seen cold air this time of the year, and that's parts of northern Texas. Yeah, how many years ago, uh, Mike, uh, in Dallas, did you say that we were in the 20s for this parade in early December? Exactly. The first Saturday in December in late in 2013, the high was 26. No surprise, that was record low max, and they had snow and ice the day before and the night before. It was bitterly cold. And then one year, they hit 89, so they've uh, gone from 26 to 89. Today, very comfortable right now at DFW, 72 room temperature, nearby Love Field at 68. The parade just ended. It was 90 minutes long. Santa came by and there was a roar from the crowd. And there in the distance, you can see the Santa float going up Commerce Street. They expected 400,000 here today, and I wouldn't doubt it. They were 10, 12, 13 deep on both sides of the street. Uh, just a, a real festive day after last year's parade going very Virtual. So you have a parade, you got temperatures nice and warm in the low 70s, people are out here in shorts and uh, just short sleeve polo shirts, just uh, enjoying it with their family and friends. Uh, just a great time overall. I'm glad we had a chance to show part of it to you. The bands were terrific, the dancers were uh, ex exceptional, and it was just a real festive day out here in Dallas, Fort Worth. So great weather overall, Paul and uh, Mark. Couldn't ask for a better day for a holiday parade. Not not putting you maybe in the Christmas spirit, no snow and it's it's warm, but it's much better to watch the parade and not have to shiver and shake. Stay with us. We're going to come back and update you on the update uh, the forecast for the rest of the weekend and next week. Will it snow in the Northeast and where will it snow? New York City, Boston, Philly. We'll let you know coming up next.